Hi friends, this is Nadine, your 3D friend. Do you guys play soccer ball? I don't play, I play cricket. I love that. I love that game. Please do comment which game do you like the most? Which game do you like to play? Okay. Do you think why I'm asking these questions? Because today I'm going to show you how to model a soccer ball in Maya. You probably have seen some videos, some tutorials on it. So let's see how to do this in Maya. Hello friends, let's model a soccer ball today. And I'm going to start from a soccer ball primitive. So let's go to create and go to polygon primitives. And you will find a soccer ball here and it's Maya provides by default. So let's click on it. So this is the soccer ball primitive. Let's maximize this view by hitting space bar and let's press F to frame it. Okay. Okay. This is the basic primitive I'm going to use for this. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, separating all these faces. Now you can see it's a single connected mesh if I go to face mode and double click on any polygon you can see it's a single connected piece but I want to separate all these pieces so I can do that by going to vortex mode and select every vertices like dragging and just selecting every vertices and let's uh, go to edit mesh and detach those if you do this they are going to detach from each other and let's go to face mode and now if you double click on any polygon you can see it's not going to select the whole thing because now it's separated you can even move by moving you can move now you can see they are separated now i'm going to basically smooth it to get some polygons so let's go to mesh and smooth now i'm just one division and you can see i have just a uh, few polygons here so let's put two here okay so i have quite bit of polygons now the problem is doesn't look no round it kind of no faceted now so in order to make it round we can use a deformer so let's go to deform here and go to sculpt here and as you can see when i click on that sculpt i get a you no know, very smooth rounded ball there and you can go to wireframe mode by hitting 4 and you can see the deformer inside if it's it comes small if it comes small let's say in your situation it comes small sometimes it happens it's not going to make the ball round and you cannot see that inside so you need to go to wireframe mode by hitting 4 and you need to you know scale that ball or inside deformer so let's hold control and deselect it and you can scale it as you can see when i scale and reach the outside you can see how it's going to make it circle or smoothly rounded okay once it's done now i can delete the history because you can see the history is there and if i move the ball you can see it's like getting out of that deformer and the effect is gone so make sure you delete the history so let's go to edit and delete by type delete the history Okay, now it that deformer is gone, but the effect is there. Now I cannot see the separation lines. So in order to see those things, I need to extrude these pieces. So let's go and select the whole object basically like this. And let's go and extrude. Let's go to edit mesh and extrude. And this time I'm going to extrude in, inside there. So let's go to wireframe mode so that we can see what's happening. And let's extruding by this you know, G axis. So let's extrude inside and delete the inside faces. Just hit delete from your keyboard. Okay. So delete the inside faces. And if you go to the shader mode now again with 5, you can see it turn black because uh, the no normals are reversed now because we extruded inside. Whenever you extruded inside, the normals got reversed. And the thing you need to do is uh, mesh display and reverse. And sometimes it doesn't show you in black color because even if you extrude it inside, it doesn't show you with black color because you might uh, this option turned on in this lighting menu. Two sided lighting, if it's on, 
now i have turned off it if it's on it's going to show the inside re reverse polygons as well so it's a kind of i don't like this so i turned off this so that i can see whenever polygon reversed so that i can correct it by going to edit uh, mesh displays and reverse okay once i reverse that you can see if i press 3 now with my keyboard i can see the no partitions or no divide lines you can see but i can also see these gaps so i can do one thing i can go to this extrude history here i can still have the extrude history go to extrude history and i can do one thing i can offset the extrude now like the extrude is going straight like this you can see from here the extrude is going straight if it's going like outside in, like it intersect with each other we are not going to see any gaps so i can go to the offset here and if i offset here let's say select it and hold middle mouse and drag with let's hold control and middle mouse drag you can see i'm offsetting and we need to offset in minus axis so let's minus 0.5 or something is too much so let me undo it let's put minus 0 0.005 maybe or it's too less so let's put minus 0 0.05 so you need to just experiment now you can see it's offset inside with this minus offset and let's press 3 and you can see those gaps are like gone maybe you can keep it like this i think this is looking good i have the separation lines then we can put some color so let's hold right mouse button on the ball and let's go to fabric material and choose blin so let's go to blin here so this is the blin signy material and right mouse click on this little triangle and go to the menu here uh, to the blin material and you can change the color from here you can change it to any color let's say you know white and let's choose you know, these five sided black so let's go to face mode double click and select all these five sided you can see we have six sided uh, side and we have five sided so just select a five sided hold shift and double click to because these are separated we uh, detach those things first so that's why i can easily select those so that's the region we detach first so now you can see i selected all these i think i have selected no there select all those five sided shapes i think that's it and then right mouse again choose blin from favorite material blin and this time let's choose black color but not fully black kind of dark gray maybe and you can see this is our soccer ball ready to play so i had you no know, asked you guys which game do you like the most please put that in the comment i uh, love to know that i like cricket okay guys uh, thank you very much for watching this short tutorial please let me know if you want to see some specific tutorials so thank you very much for watching my tutorials see you in the next new tutorials please do like share and subscribe the channel to motivate me to do more